They laughed at him. They said he was a dreamer. Yet today, his inventions power entire communities, without wires, without fuel, without limits. While the world watched Elon Musk build electric cars and rocket ships, a quiet genius from Zimbabwe was building something even more radical. Technology so advanced, it seemed like science fiction. Meet Maxwell Chikambutso, a man whose inventions are now being called a decade ahead of anything Elon Musk has released. It all began in a modest workshop. No funding, no Silicon Valley, just a mind driven by purpose. While tech giants were racing toward profit, Maxwell was focused on a different kind of revolution, energy independence for Africa. His first breakthrough? A self-charging electric car, a vehicle that doesn't rely on charging stations or fossil fuels. Scientists said it was impossible, but the car moved mile after mile, powered by a secret blend of magnetic and radio frequency energy. While Musk was perfecting lithium-ion batteries, Maxwell was erasing the need for batteries altogether. His greener power machine wasn't just a power supply. It was a new law of physics in action. And then came the unthinkable village children running through brightly lit streets at night. In remote areas where electricity had never reached, Maxwell's wireless energy towers lit up entire villages. No power lines. No grids. Just air converted into power. The global press ignored it. But engineers who witnessed the demo were stunned. This shouldn't be working, but it is. That was a recurring phrase. Again and again. Dark in conference hall. Spotlight on a prototype aircraft. He unveiled something even bolder. A self-powered electric aircraft. No jet fuel. No charging cables. Just the same mysterious technology. Scaled for skies. It soared over plains of Zimbabwe in a private test flight witnessed by engineers, journalists, and even a few global investors flown in secretly. The crowd watched in awe as the aircraft circled above for over two hours without a drop of fuel or a power cord in sight. Some whispered, Is this anti-gravity? Others believed it to be a military-grade technology cloaked under civilian research. But Maxwell stood calmly beside his creation, wearing the same humble expression he had when he built his first radio-powered generator as a teenager. To him, this was never about fame. It was about freedom, energy freedom for Africa and beyond. Meanwhile, tech media struggled to respond. Some called a hoax. Others nervously admitted, We've never seen this level of power density before, not even from Tesla's top labs. And behind closed doors? Memos began circulating among global energy companies, classified reports, NDAs, silent visits to Zimbabwe. They couldn't replicate it. Not yet. Not without Maxwell. Maxwell in studio, calm and direct. This wasn't just an inventor. This was a disruptor of industries. A visionary playing a completely different game. One where physics bends not capital, but to creativity. And while Elon Musk sent satellites into orbit and launched Teslas into space... Maxwell lit up forgotten villages, flew clean planes, and gave power to people who had never known it. But just when the world began to wake up to his genius. Newsroom breaking alert. Maxwell Chikambutso's lab mysteriously shuts down. First came the silence. Then the blackout. Reporters who had visited his lab in Harare found the gates locked. Security cameras offline. Machines gone. Even local engineers who worked alongside Maxwell had vanished. No trace. No messages. It was as if the entire operation had been wiped off the map. But the Internet doesn't forget. Clips of Maxwell's aircraft soaring over the savannah had already gone viral. TikTok, X, formerly Twitter, even Reddit exploded with theories. Some call it the African Area 51. Others suggesting that a major global power had stepped in, but no one could prove anything private jet touchdown in Zurich. Then came the leak footage. A jet arriving in Zurich under an alias. On board, a man with an unmistakable presence, Maxwell himself. Eyewitnesses swore it was him. Others claimed the man in the video had a bodyguard detail resembling private corporate security, not government. But the question loomed. Why would Maxwell leave his own country without telling anyone? Tech industry buzz, secret meeting rooms. Insiders from two major clean energy startups later hinted at a classified demonstration held in Switzerland. 
an elite gathering of tech billionaires, former DARPA advisors, and high-ranking officials from energy lobbies. What did they see? Only one whispered detail leaked out. It defies our current understanding of propulsion. Elon Musk being interviewed on a podcast. Elon, have you seen the African inventor whose plane flies without fuel or recharge? Yeah, I think the guy's ahead of us. For now, the admission sent shockwaves. It was the first time Elon had publicly acknowledged a technological competitor without brushing them off. And if he was taking Maxwell seriously, the world had better pay attention. Remote African village, one year later. Back in Africa, strange things began happening. Villages once forgotten by infrastructure were now fully powered, completely off-grid. Locals claimed they had no idea who installed the technology. But at night, the sky above their huts glowed with a faint blue shimmer, almost like a wireless energy field blanketing the area. The tech? Untraceable. No brands. No visible infrastructure. Just power. And so, the world waits. For the man who redefined energy, vanished without warning, and left behind a legacy that might be ten years ahead of Musk, or more. But what if he's not gone? What if he's just getting started? Night surveillance drone captures an unknown aircraft. A security drone flying over the Sahara picks up something strange. Not a bird, not a commercial plane, but an aircraft moving silently and impossibly slow, hovering like a spacecraft. Thermal sensors reveal no exhaust, no heat signatures. Radar? Couldn't lock on. It simply vanished into the clouds, leaving behind a trail of electromagnetic interference that fried the drone sensors for five whole minutes. Some say it was military tech. Others aren't so sure. Confidential meeting room in Washington, D.C. In the heart of D.C., a black ops roundtable meets behind closed doors. Code name, Project Eclipse. Topic, African technologist Maxwell Chikambutso. Threat assessment level, red. A leaked internal memo read. If Chikambutso's technology is real and scalable, global energy dominance shifts overnight. Oil becomes irrelevant. Batteries? Obsolete. The stakes couldn't be higher. Maxwell wasn't just ahead. He was out of reach, operating on principles the West hadn't even begun to simulate. Underground tech hub, Nairobi, Kenya. While government scrambled, Africa adapted. Underground hubs, formerly community internet cafes, became testing grounds for Maxwell's abandoned blueprints. Teenagers reverse-engineered circuits. Makers installed self-charging generators in rickshaws. Even village schools began running on ambient energy pulled from thin air. What began as fake news had now sparked a movement, not a product, a revolution. African Union Special Summit on Innovation, Addis Ababa. The African Union did the unthinkable. They announced a Pan-African Tech Initiative, the Chikambutso Protocol. Its mission? To preserve, protect, and develop homegrown technology before it's erased, stolen, or buried by outside forces. This wasn't about one man anymore. It was about an entire continent refusing to stay behind. And just when the momentum peaked, breaking news ticker, message from Maxwell Chikambutso goes live. The internet stopped. A live stream launched on a private server. Only a few dozen people received the link. But by the time the signal stabilized, over 12 million were watching. Maxwell appeared. A little older. Eyes sharper. They tried to stop this. They tried to say it was fake. But truth doesn't need permission to shine. I am not alone. Africa is awake. And then he turned the camera. Behind him? A new aircraft, completely redesigned, standing tall under a dome of pulsating blue light. And he said just two words. It's time. Social media frenzy. Fifteen minutes after the stream ends. TikTok, X, formerly Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, erupted. Clips of Maxwell's final words. It's time. Spread faster than any breaking news. Hashtags like hashtag Africa Rising, hashtag Chikambutso Effect, and hashtag New Flight Era began trending globally. Mainstream news couldn't keep up. Meanwhile, users across Africa began uploading footage of glowing towers, silent drones hovering above farms, and, most shockingly, 
Entire neighborhoods lit up with no visible power lines. What Maxwell had shown wasn't a prototype. It was already in use. Tesla HQ, Palo Alto, California. At Tesla's R&D division, tension was palpable. Elon Musk himself had just watched Maxwell's broadcast. His team scrambled for answers. Was it legit? How did he overcome energy loss and wireless transfer? Was he using quantum resonance? But Musk, ever the futurist, didn't panic. Instead, he sent out a tweet. Elon Musk, if this is real, it changes everything. Respect. We may just be witnessing the next Nikola Tesla. It sent shockwaves across tech circles. Some called it a surrender. Others called it a passing of the torch. Rural Zambia, 3 a.m. local time, deep in a remote village, without a single power pole, a small school buzzed with life. Children wide-eyed, read books under bright LED lights. A water pump hummed gently nearby. An old CRT TV played a documentary on African history. The villagers didn't know what viral meant. They didn't need hashtags. All they knew was that, for the first time ever, night didn't mean darkness. UN emergency session, Geneva, a private UN session was called under the pretext of technological stability. The real topic? Whether Africa, via Maxwell Systems, had just leapfrogged the entire West. The fear wasn't war. It was irrelevance. Maxwell's vision meant no energy bills, no pollution, no middleman. Entire economies built on fossil fuel exports and power monopolies would collapse. One delegate whispered, if we don't adapt, we're not first world. We're last. Maxwell's new testing facility, undisclosed African location. Maxwell walked the length of a massive hangar. Behind him, engineers, students, farmers, coders. A coalition of the curious and the brave. And in front of them, not one, but three new inventions. Covered. Untouched. Waiting. He addressed the group. The grand reveal, Maxwell's hangar, Africa. The audience held its breath. Maxwell reached the cover on the first device and slowly pulled it back. Underneath was a levitating transport pod, sleek and silent, hovering inches above the ground using no visible propulsion. No wheels. No wings. No tracks. Just levitation. Maxwell. No roads. No rails. No runways. You don't travel on the earth anymore. You travel above it. Applause broke out, nervous, electric, overwhelmed. He moved to the second invention. A drone the size of a small SUV. Maxwell. This can deliver water, food, medicine, anywhere on the continent, autonomously. It learns. It adapts. It powers itself. And then came the third. He unveiled a small box, barely the size of a briefcase. Maxwell. This is energy, not a battery. Not a generator. Just clean wireless power anywhere forever. Take it to the desert, the rainforest, the mountains. Africa won't chase the grid anymore. Africa will become the grid. Across Africa, floating taxis glided above traffic in Lagos. Kenyan farmers received AI-driven weather alerts via drone relays. Kids in the Congo stream classes using free ambient electricity. Villages once forgotten became centers of light. And while the West debated patents and policy, Africa built a future that didn't ask for permission. Elon Musk interview, BBC Global Tech Forum. Elon, any thoughts on the so-called Chikambutso decade? We tried to save the world. Maxwell, he gave it back to the people. That's beyond genius. That's revolution. Star-filled African sky, electric drones humming overhead. They said it was fake. They said it was impossible. They said Africa wasn't ready. And then, Africa lit up the night. Fade to black. Text on screen. Maxwell Chikambutso. A name the future will never forget. 